This is National Dog Week, and we invited an old friend of ours, and this is Ralph, and we'd like you to say hello. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. It's, it's a real pleasure to be here as official spokesman for the dog world. And in the words of our president... Wait, 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 wait. Your president? Oh, yeah, we dogs have a government just like you do, you know. Oh, well, who's your president? Lassie, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, we, we got a cabinet, senators, attorney general. Wait, ho, 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 ho. Who, who's the attorney general? Lassie's brother. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, our government works very well, and we dogs live a very happy life. Good. There's only one thing that troubles us, and we do worry about that. And what do you worry about, Ralph? About, about you, you human beings. You really? see, the only hope for the human race is for every man to have a dog. Oh. In the words of the immortal Rin Tin Tin, without a dog, you got nothing. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait. Now, wait. We got our families and wives and things well, like that. Well, well, wives are all right, I guess. But does your wife come running when you whistle? Huh? Not lately, no. Do, do, does, she, do, does she lay at your feet by the fire uh, and lick your hand when you're troubled? Well, I can't recall that happening yeah. lately, no. Yeah. Huh? Do, does, does she greet you in the morning with a newspaper in her mouth? Huh? Not over two or three times that I can remember. I think. Well, yeah. well, you see, wives and friends and family are okay. But the only one you can really depend on is your dog. Yeah, we're with you, no matter who you are and what you do. We're with you, through thick and thin. And, uh, I'm sorry, Jim, I just can't go on. Oh, I, I get all choked up. Now, don't get upset, because I'm sure that after the folks have seen this, that everybody's going to run right out and buy a dog. Well, I hope so, Jimmy. That's all. If you don't have a dog, and Life seems full of clouds and rain, and I am filled with naught but pain. Who soothes my thumping, bumping brain? Who does? Nobody. Uh. When winter comes with snow and sleet, yeah. me with hunger and cold feet. Cold feet? Who says, yes, two bits, boy, go and eat. Nothing from nobody, no time. No. And until I get something from somebody, yeah. sometime, yeah. I don't intend to do nothing for nobody, no time. You're doing too. When I try hard and I scheme and I plan you know? to do the very best I can, you know? who says, look at that handsome man? Nobody. <laughs> but all day long, things go amiss. And, you know? and I go home to find some bliss. Who's waiting there with that tender kiss? No, no, nobody. <laughs> I ain't never done nothing to nobody. And I ain't never got nothing from nobody. No time. Nothing for nobody, no time, no body, no. Would you like the last note?
you are fine, and I thank you. Thank uh, you ever so much. Well, you don't have to thank us, dog. We always love to help, you know. I see. Well, so. it's, uh, it's time to go on with the show, uh, mm -hmm. Ralph, and we got a guy that uh, a lot of folks say is just the greatest thing since Gabriel, Mr. Al Hurt. Oh, oh well, well, you know, dogs think the same thing, too. Is that so? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I see. Well, then, suppose you and I just uh, kind of settle back here and, uh, and relax. <laughs> and, uh... You're ad-libbing, Ralph. <laughs> and, and would you wait till I get this line in? I don't want to talk about We're it. We're both going to drop dead when it's done, anyhow. We're going to settle back and let Hurt put you in the driver's seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Al Hurt. 